focus, Springfield's in the house, and Zanetti School is in the house. Great educational efforts going on here, Principal Tara Clark and her staff, students and teachers and families. The school looks immaculate. So before we start, let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> Joined here by our superintendent, Dan Warwick, who will be speaking. My election commissioner, Gladys Oyola. Janina Millette is one of my election commissioners. Obviously, uh, Principal uh, Tara Clark. Sue are here. And this is an initiative, young people, that I can't say enough about. When I was a young city councilor in the 90s, uh, we did this uh, with the newspaper. David Starr was a big proponent of this. And they actually had photo shots right on the ballot. And I thank each and every one of you predecessors, your kids, because I, I won a, the city council race, so I appreciate that very much so. But what's important about today is that you understand the importance about voting, knowing the issues, knowing the candidates, and then transferring that to your family, mom and dad, because maybe you'll remind them, hey, Ma, Dad, we got to go vote. We have to go vote. So I think this is a great initiative. I can't say enough about Election Commissioner Gladys Oyola when she brought it to my attention and obviously partnering with Superintendent Warwick and his team. It's a win-win and uh, the importance of voting. Uh, so with that, I will turn it over to Superintendent uh, Warwick and we'll have some other speakers. Superintendent? Thank you, Mayor. Morning, everyone. Nice to see you. I just want to reinforce what the mayor said. Uh, voting is such an important piece of our democracy, part of citizenship. We'd like that. Um, so it's a great um, honor for us to sponsor this kids' vote back again. I, like the mayor, remember the first you know, first time we did it. Thought it was a great idea then because when you look at the urban centers uh, across the country, a lot of folks don't vote. And it's an important part of citizenship to make sure that when you grow up, you take the time to vote. And for this election cycle, you remind your parents to get out to vote. Because voter turnout is, is a real issue in our democracy, and we want everyone to participate in that. So I hope you enjoy voting today. Again, remind your parents. And remember when you grow up how important it is to register to vote and then actually turn out and cast a ballot. You can make a difference. Uh, it's always a pleasure for me to come to Zanetti School, one of our nine level one schools in the city of Springfield. <laughs> Thought the newspaper was interesting. They, they made a, a front page story out of Holyoke almost having one level one school and Springfield has nine. So I thought that was a pretty good thing and Zanetti, uh, Zanetti I'm very, very proud of as a level one school. I also uh, take special pleasure coming back here because I actually went to elementary school here. And it's always uh, been great for me to come back to Hungry Hill where I grew up. And Hungry Hill was a place when I grew up, everyone voted. My parents told me the minute I was 18, at that time we used to have to go down to City Hall to register to vote. I was down there and registering to vote, never miss an election. So I think it's a, a really important part of being a good citizen is voting. And it's a really important for the future of our country and of the world. So please remember this, and I hope you have fun with it today. And congratulations to Zanetti for your continued outstanding results, and to Principal Clark and her team for the great job they do day in and day out. I couldn't be more proud of them. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. So besides all those that we get you out of class a little while, that's pretty good too, <laughs> huh? You're still learning, though. So to explain this before we go on, other speakers is my election commissioner, our city's election commissioner, Gladys Oyola. She's here with Commissioner Janina Millette, who's on the board of election commissioners, and they will explain how this came about and again the importance. So let's put your hands together, Commissioner Oyola. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, my, as the mayor said, my name is Gladys Oyola. I'm the election commissioner for the city of Springfield. And not only am I the election commissioner, but I am the proud mom of two Zanetti schoolers. So, yeah, I have a daughter who is in Miss Amaral's class. And then I have another daughter who is at Echoes today, so she's not voting today uh, because she is in fifth grade with Miss Puglia. Getting Puglia. An absentee ballot. Yeah. <laughs> sure. And so uh, the way that we um, had done kids voting in the past, um, as the mayor stated, was through the uh, 
newspaper. And uh, one of our commissioners, Commissioner Millett, uh, remembered years ago how positive that was and how uh, big an impact it had. Kids would go to the ballot, to the polls with their parents in the afternoons. They would cast ballots during the day. And she has kind of pushed me over the past, I would say, three years to, why don't we bring this back? Why isn't this initiative something that we do in the schools? And what we did was reach out to the superintendent and uh, we reached out to some school committee members as well. And they said, it's possible, we can do it. And I know that the teachers are excited. I know the students want to participate. So we bookended with Sue Magica, who's also here. And she is the chair of the history department for the Springfield Schools. And it's really honestly been the lion's share of this effort that's um, kind of launching here today at Zanetti has been the product of these two ladies here in the black and white. And they're basically working tirelessly for the past year to bring this to fruition today. So what does that mean? That means that you all here are casting ballots, but there's also about 19, 20,000 other students that are going to be casting ballots this week. And so we're going to see the results. Uh, in the week of October 13th, we're gonna have the results live on TV, so we get to see who you guys picked for president, who you guys picked for vice president, and in the high schools, they're gonna have this mock ballot, which is a, kind of like a real ballot. Uh, they get to put it through a machine, and they get to vote on questions two and three, which are about charter schools and about animal cruelty as well. Uh, so, I'm excited to have you guys uh, here today, and I can't wait to kind of see how you vote and maybe talk to you after about the process. What do you think? Is voting easy? Is voting hard? Do you think it makes a difference? And um, right now, I'd like to hopefully have Sue Machka say a couple words so that she can kind of explain a little more about the process. Thank you, Thank you so much. Uh, as Gladys said, we worked really well together to bring this effort to all of our schools. And so at our end, we worked tirelessly to bring, I think what we call really good lessons for our kids to become informed voters. It's really important to understand the issues. And so at the high school level and the secondary middle schools and the elementary, we sent you um, and your teachers gathered lots of opportunities for you un to understand the democratic process. What does it mean to be an informed voter? We don't want you just saying, oh, I'm going to listen to what they say just on television. I am going to see that commercial. No, we want you to understand the issues, what's important for our country, and so we ask asked all of you to dig deep into those issues so that when you vote, you're an informed voter. And so we're really anxious to see what's happening every day this week because it's taking place for the whole week. And uh, different schools are going to be voting at different times, but we will have our end results by next week. So uh, pay attention. The election results will be coming up next week. Thank you. Thank you. Pay attention, it's your principal right now. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mr. Worthy. Well, uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, Superintendent Warwick, always a pleasure having you here. Big supporter of our Zanetti group. Um, Sue Masca, uh, Gladys, as a, not only as the head of this, but as a parent and uh, everyone from the mayor's office, we really welcome you here at Zanetti. This is an important day for all of us here at Zanetti because I think students here all have a voice, and by voting, you have a voice. And we are creating great habits, and one of the great habits that you are going to acquire here is that you will vote as a student, but hopefully as an adult, you will continue voting. So it's your right to vote. Over the past two weeks, every classroom here, from preschool all the way up to eighth grade, with the help of our um, two teachers le leading the steering committee, Ms. Frankie and Ms. Kennedy, we've been and Ms. Shea also, we've been talking about health care reform, education, charter schools, what does that mean for Zanetti? Um, we also talked about immigration, so we have a big word wall up here and behind us, uh, Superintendent, we have how the electoral process goes. So we've learned that every four years that there's a presidential election, and we also have talked about the difference between the different parties. But what did I tell everyone today? That it's about the issues, not about the two candidates. And what do those issues mean to you and your family? So remember when you're casting your ballot today, think about the issues, especially everyone. What well, big thing we're talking about? Education. That's right. And we want to continue to stay a level one school, so we need our funding. All right? Enjoy the ballot today. Thank, Thank you. you. Excellent point. Thank you. Uh, Janina Millett, who's one of my election commissioners, again, as Commissioner Gladys Oyola indicated, really 
tugged at her to say, let's, let's do this again, let's do this again. So she's going to explain why she thinks this is so important, which I agree with her. Commissioner? Well, first of all, I'm enthusiastic and excited about all of you all participating in your civic duty. And I'm glad that you're learning it at such a young age so that when you grow up, this is, this is a piece of cake for you. You will know the issues. You will know how to figure out these issues. I want to say thank you for each of you guys to take the time to actually study the issues and vote today. It is very, very important for our country, for our progress in our country, and for people to know what's happening within our country. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We very much appreciate you guys. Did you have a question, young man? Did you want to say something? Um, Sam? Uh, I, uh, come on, come on up here, come on. Come on. This is the middle school behind us. Okay. <laughs> come right here, come on. Sam's running for office. You're going to vote for So what do you want to say, Sam? Well, because, like, Ms. Clark said that the two candidates, but there's actually more than two candidates. Yes, there is. Right. That's right. On, on the, on, research. On, right, and you're going on the issues, right? All right, Sam, I am. Good job. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Forget that.